Thanks for listening to the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast, where each week we talk about a free piece or two of technology that you can use in your classroom. I'm your host, Shanna Martin. I'm a middle school teacher, technology, and instructional coach for my district. And I'm her producer and husband, Fuzz Martin, just juggling all these balls, keeping all of the pieces of this podcast up in the air, spinning all the plates, <laughs> trying to keep things going. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm great. Me too. So. Yes. Season seven. Season seven. Episode 190. 190. I was so excited to talk about you this. You are one. excited to talk about this one. <laughs> I I knew. Have you? Do you have it open you yet? Actually, you've actually talked. No, I don't. I haven't because I wanted to pay attention to you. Uh, and you know how ADHD <laughs> works. Um, ADD, I guess more. But uh, you've been talking about this one for a couple of weeks now to me. Yeah. Uh, well, and it's funny because I've used it a long time ago. Yeah. But then it came back around and I was like, oh, my gosh, I need to talk about it. I've never actually talked about it on the podcast. And it's just so much fun to play with. Yeah. So here we are. Here we are. Oh, <laughs> gosh. OK, it's working for me now. So microphone's turned on. Yes. My All right. Microphone is turned on. So this week we are highlighting two tools. <laughs> yeah. For quick classroom management. I'm sorry. We're highlighting two tools for quick classroom <laughs> management. Oh, well, this is pretty great. You'll understand why I just did that in a moment, okay. folks. This one's been around a little while, okay. and I, some of you may already use it, but if maybe you forgot about it, and we just need to bring it back for entertainment's sake, if nothing else. Yeah. And so, <laughs> so I have two sites, but. I'm the top five list fits for both of them with our new little top five list we're doing. The two sites are bouncy balls and Gen Z. And if you haven't done bouncy balls, it's so much fun. Just turn it on. But anyway, let me highlight why I love these two sites. Yes. Sparkles and sunshine and how they will help out your classroom management entertainment. If you didn't tune into last week's episode, Yes, we are doing every episode starting this season. Shanna is going to give her five reasons why she loves the tools that were tool or tools that we're talking about for the week. Yes. In the beginning of the episode, she'll tell you the five reasons why she chose this tool to talk about. Yes. Give them to us. All right. So for Bouncy Balls and Gen Z, they're both quick classroom management tools. Yes. First the one. Especially bouncy balls is super engaging. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Number two, they're everyday useful. Both sites can be used all of the time in your classroom. Like they're just useful tools. They're very fast to use in your classroom and so fun. And they will become everyday uses. Three, they can be used for different purposes other than what they're outlined for. Dun, yes, dun, dun. they can. Four, they are great for elementary classrooms, like for sure. I in mm-hmm. middle school totally, but for elementary for sure. And number five goes with number one. It's super fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about bouncy balls to begin with. If you haven't already gone there, or you're driving, stop. No, no I'm not. I'm kidding. Don't, don't stop. Don't stop. But also do this as soon as you get to work. Yes. Or home. Go to bouncyballs.org, B-O-U-N-C-Y-B-A-L-L-S dot O-R-G. Okay. Today, <laughs> click start. <laughs> <laughs> and now the bouncy balls are flying all over your screen. And as you talk, and we are specifically using podcasting microphones, so yeah. they are everywhere. Very sensitive, yes. And it's amazing. So basically, not only is this highly entertaining, it also is a great thing to use. It's meant for classroom management. So the goal is for your students to be quiet. So that way, the balls stay on the bottom of your screen. However, I can almost guarantee you that this will make your kids be Louder. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the uh, the noise alert also turned on. So there is an option for a noise alert. Mm-hmm. So if the bouncy balls are flying all over the screen, it will tell you that you are being too loud. 
there is a sensitivity tool. So all the tools are on the right hand side. So you can change your sensitivity, like how much you want them moving around. You can up the total amount of balls on your screen. So you can like up that sucker. So there's like 100, 200 balls bouncing around your screen. Or you can drop it down to like 42 and then there's just a few flying everywhere. You can change them to plastic to uh, one of my favorites is the emojis that are flying everywhere all over my screen. That's what I have too. I actually like having the the total lower because they bounce more, I think. It feels like they Yeah, like they feel, it feels more sensitive because yeah. you can see the movement more. Yeah. Uh, they have numbers. Mm -hmm. They have bubbles. So yes. I like the bubbles if you're aiming for something like calming. Okay. Because the bubbles oh, yeah. start at the at the top of the screen oh, and yeah, they move down, yeah, okay. which is kind of cool. Little ocean, and then for you know creepy things, there's eyeballs, which is creepy. Yeah. But if your students like might be creeped out by having eyes stare at them the whole time, coming up then, on Halloween, then maybe that would be good because they're staring at you, so you should be quiet. I'm watching. See all these things. There's mm. noise alert. There's shushing, there's beeping, and there's just basically lots of entertainment for being loud or quiet. Yes. Now, you had a suggestion. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what it was? I do. So you could use it the opposite way. So if you want to vote for something in class, you could do uh, like vote by applause or something like that. You could turn mm -hmm. the sensitivity down, um, and then whoever gets the loudest, you could see visually on screen. Yeah. like. Things flying everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So that would be another way you could use it. Yes. But using it the opposite way of what it's intended to do. Correct. Also, a good thing for like indoor recess, like the longer the bouncy balls stay on the bottom of the screen, the longer your indoor recess will last. Mm -hmm. But if the bouncy balls are flying all over the place, then we've had too much loud time and, and we need to be quiet reading time. Then it's quiet reading time. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So there's so much fun. <laughs> and basically it's shouting and it just puts a giant thing across your screen that says too noisy or if you're being too loud and it's shushing me. quiet. And it's amazing. And yeah. So for entertainment's sake alone or just having a conversation with somebody, this would also be great. Not necessarily. I mean, you can put it always on your like smartboard or your full screen in your classroom, but kids can put it up on their Chromebooks. Yep. And if they're having, if they're learning how to have a partner conversation, this can teach them for noise levels in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Like what's, what's a partner conversation, like a level one yeah. versus a level four when they're screaming. Mm -hmm. So they like zero to four, like the kids learn how to talk to people next to them at an appropriate volume. This could be a, used as a tool to teach them that. Yeah. So. Bouncy balls. Love it. Dot org. Bouncy balls dot org. So much fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Little emojis are like wiggling everywhere. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay. Draconian classroom management. <laughs> <laughs> With fun. It is fun. It's fun. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Anyway, the other tool I have is a quick one. It's just part of a huge collection of tools, which is called Jinzy. And there's all kinds of actually like teacher kind of classroom management tools. If you go to Jinzy, it's G Y N Z Y dot com. And I'm using specifically the group maker, which does not require an account. But Gen Z has all kinds of cool classroom management tools that you would use, like on a whiteboard in your classroom. Okay. And some of the free tools are there's a group maker. So you just type in all your students' name and it will quick randomize, randomize yeah. groups for you, which I appreciate one of these because this one has a good visual that kind of goes with it. And you can say, like, I want groups of two or three, click save, and then it gives you my names, and then you just click the little button and it swaps out your groups for you and gives just, like, squares, like, where desks would be. And it's a very fast group-making tool. Once you get the group-making tool available to you, then there's some other tools. You have access to some things. Again, it's a free account, mm -hmm. but it also, you can type in different information or if you need to change fonts or different things like that, you can do so. Or you can create an account and you still get some free tools. But it's just a quick group maker if you're looking for one of those, just a fast way to mix it up on your screen. Yeah. So it takes you having to think about it. It's a little, 
We talked about this the other day, the decision the, fatigue yes, that you get. decision fatigue that teachers get. Yeah. Absolutely. So, like, you just throw this in, and then you don't have to think about putting the yeah, groups together. Yeah, the groups together are just made. And, just, and if you don't like them, you just click the flip button, and it just does it. They flip to groups for you real yeah, fast. Yeah. Or you can just manually say, nope, those two aren't sitting next to each other. Right. Cross <laughs> out and move on. But, yeah, so it's another just quick classroom management tool. And they have several classroom management tools. That would be helpful. But that's just a quick group maker and would help with classroom management and mixing up some things so gymz.com so easy tools yeah and we'll, we'll link right to the group maker in yeah the, so that way you have access to that one right away and yeah. then you can always play around with their other things but that is a quick free one that doesn't need an account and is very fast to use the tools and put them together yeah and then you can test your groups and how quiet they are with bouncing bouncy balls dot yes. org there you go make your groups see how quiet they can be and then watch the emojis fly across your screen. Yes. And the quietest team wins a PBIS ticket. Way to go. There you go. Good job. See? Look at you using your, ac- your teacher <laughs> acronyms and everything. That's uh, fantastic. Soon I'll get my license. I love it. Substitutes needed. There we go. All right. Well, that was fun because bouncing ball is just so fun. much fun. fun. Thanks for tuning in. Shh. <laughs> this has been the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast. If you ever have any questions, you can find me on the app for my host Twitter. It's Smart, Smart and WI. Or on Threads, or on Facebook, or on Instagram, uh, or any other social media for the most part. And if you want to get more information on the links to the technology discussed in this episode, you can visit smartandwi.com. If you'd like to support the show, please consider buying me a coffee or two. Visit buymeacoffee.com slash smartwi or visit smartwi.com and click on that cute little purple coffee cup. Your donations help keep the show going. New episodes each week. Thanks for listening. Go educate and innovate. The ideas and opinions discussed on this podcast and the Smart NWI website are those of the author, Shanna Martin, and not of her employer. Prior to using any of the technologies we discussed on this show, please consult with your employer regulations. This podcast offers no guarantee that these tools will work for you as described, but we hope they do. And we'll talk to you next week right here on the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast. Tech Tools for Teachers.